It's author Delisha and a welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, please feel free to hit that subscription button and that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it if you would join my channel and become a part of the author Delisha's channel, you guys. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick Dollar Tree haul in combination with It's Fasten fashion metro and city trends not going to be that much stuff added in there with that and this haul is not like a big humongous haul y'all i'm still trying to prepare because we have another hurricane you guys hurricane michael is headed our way like literally um supposed to be hitting florida and coming this way and by the time i get to us it's supposed to be like a category two and I'm just like over it already, you guys, with these hurricanes and this rain. And it's just putting everything back and holding everything up. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm just really, really done. Really done with, with these hurricanes, I'm telling y'all. But anyway, we're going to get right on into this quick haul. And I'm just going to start out with my favorite finds. And I would say my favorite finds... This time would be the Salon Selectives. One of them is the Instant Repair Leave-In Conditioner. And the next one is the Frizz Control Leave-In Soothing. So it's the blue one and the purple one. And I had seen these before, but I just never grabbed them up because I had a pretty good amount of hair products. And I figured I would try one out and then give the other to my daughter. So those would be my fave. And that's like name brand too, you guys. Salon Selectus is a good brand. Like you still see that brand in like Walmart and other places. Now the next new find that I would say would be this Revlon Color Silk Bold Black. And it's basically the shampoo. Um, I heard that they have the conditioner out, but I did not see the conditioner. And they have these for all different hair types. I know they have them for brunette, blonde, etc., etc. So I just grabbed this one up right here just to give this a try. Okay, next would be some um, hair ties, you guys. I needed some more. It comes in 15. And I try to get the ones that I know that's actually going to stretch out for when I do um, my braids and stuff like that. The ones that will stretch out and not pop. Because I notice some of the ones that have like that silver clasp or the gold clasp in the middle, sometimes those be popping. So hopefully these will be a lot better. Next is from Swan and it's basically some nail polish remover. You know, I needed to fill my containers uh, back up so I grabbed that. This is another new find, um, which is basically name brand, and it's basically a Summer's Eve douche in the fresh scent right here. I have never seen this before. I have seen like the off-brand um, kind with the water and vinegar, but this is my first time seeing the Summer's Eve um, kind. And next will be basically some soap. This is a three-pack of the Jerkins Mouth Soap. Sometimes I'll pick up like the hyperallergenic or whatever. It just depends because I have the ones that I use for my skin and the others for just basically company, you know, stuff like that. And then I just grabbed another uh, three pack and this is the Palm Olive. This is the first time that I've ever tried this one, which is the classic scent. So yeah, Palm Olive that does the dish detergent has soap. So, like I said before, y'all, another hurricane is headed our way, and I needed to make sure that I got some more candles, and this one is by Airfresh, who I actually have two. One is the Tropical Fruit, and it smells amazing, you guys. And this one right here is the Angel Orchid. So, I just grabbed up two more candles. And this is my first time seeing the Glad Cling Wrap. So that's like another new find for me. And I just grabbed some paper towels. You know, I always just grab the big paper towels out of there with um, some more paper plates. 
which I'll probably end up going to Walmart and just getting like the big $4 bundle because they'll last longer. And last but not least is this professional formula, Mr. Plumber, y'all. I don't know what is going on with my faucet in my bathroom, but I have used this before and it works really, really good. I just take it and pour some into my faucet and I unpull my um, plunger and I let it go down. Um, but before I do that, I take and I boil some hot water. And so right after this go down, I go and I dump the scolding hot water in there afterwards and it always unclogs whatever it is that's in my drain versus having to pay $50 for them to come and unstop it because I ain't got time for that. All right. Next, we're going to move on to City Trends and its Fatron Metro. I didn't get a lot of stuff, you guys. I was just basically in there um, pricing because I need to get my daughter a, a coat. A lot of her coats she had kind of outgrown or they was getting dingy, dirty, they was tearing up, whatever. And she had like enough jackets. So I basically was just going in there and both places are just on um, price, um, some jackets or whatever for her. Because when I go back in there, I'm going to go ahead and just buy one. But I happened to see these two books. Y'all, they both was on sale literally for like $1.99. Literally, y'all. And I was surprised. And I actually seen a third one, which was called The Choir Director 2, but I already had that one. So I just happened to grab this um, If I Can't Have You. I happened to see this book in Target, and I wanted to purchase it, but I did not want to pay that amount for the book. So I'm happy that I did find it in there. And as y'all see, it does say $1.99. So I don't know if y'all do know, I have did previous hauls where I was saying that City Trends has like great urban books for cheap on the Lolo and Books a Million also has that clearance section or whatever but normally um, I used to go to like Kmart but I, I Kmart is like closed down now so now I just go to Books a Million every now and then I check out City Trends to see what kind of books they may have in there um, and sometimes I just go out of town and get my books or whatever because I like to collect them collect urban books basically and read them of course and then I happened to find another one by one of my favorite authors, which is by Carl Weber. And it's the Family Business 3, y'all. I believe he's up to maybe five now, so I'm behind. I got to read one, two, of course, three, four, and five. So I'm trying to buy, like, the whole series or whatever. But here it go right here. And it was $1.99 also. So I can't wait to check those out. I might end up going back out tomorrow and going ahead Um getting her coat. City Trends has some better coats out than it's fashion metro. Um, the prices were kind of similar though. And you know, and inside of it's fashion metro, they just had like a lot of these shoes, sandals, stuff like that marked down. And I just seen some little cute little sneakers. They look like this basically and I just grabbed some because I just needed another um black shoe. You know, because I already have like some Converse's. I have two pair, but but both of those are like multicolored. So I just wanted something that was just all black, so that it pretty much go with anything, y'all. And these were marked down. Um, how much were they marked down? I think they were originally like twelve ninety nine. They was marked down to five ninety nine. So I thought that was a good deal to grab them up. All right, you guys, that is all for now. Like, love, subscribe, comment down below. Give me feedback. Tell me what you think. Um, what did y'all get on y'all last Dollar Tree trip? And have you visited City Trends or Is Fashion Metro? Do you have any of those stores? And for those of you um, that are living in Florida or are going to be affected by this hurricane, what do you think about it? Thank you for joining my channel, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.